It's my friend, Joanna. She's feeling so embarrassed. Last night, she met a friend for dinner at a restaurant. And when she wanted to go home and finish dinner, she called an Uber. She received a message while she was waiting. Her red Uber was waiting for her outside. While she was walking to the Uber, her dad found her and she picked up. She got into the car and when she stopped talking, she said hello to the driver and told him where she wanted to go. The guy in the car in front of the wheel looked at her. He was surprised and scared. I'm not an Uber driver, he said. I'm just waiting for my wife. She got into the wrong car. Her red Uber was parked at the other side of the street. Hi guys, and welcome again. In this opportunity, we're going to talk about the past. Let's talk about the past. What is the objective of this unit? In this unit, we're going to learn the difference between the simple past tense and the past continuous tense that we use to talk about activities that happened in the past. And we are also going to learn how we can connect sentences in those two senses to tell stories, to talk about the past. So let's remember what is a tense. Well, tenses are grammar structures. We can identify in sentences to know exactly when the actions happen. And in this case, we're going to learn about the simple past and the past continues. What are the uses of the simple past and the past continues? We use the simple past to describe actions that happened in the past that have an specified time in the past. So we know exactly when the action happened. There is a time expression in the sentence that tell us when the action happened in the past. And what is the use of the past continuous? We use the past continuous to describe ongoing or continuous actions that happen in the past. Let's see some examples of sentences in the simple past and the past continuous. For example, yesterday we had hamburgers for lunch. In this case, we know exactly when the action happened. Yesterday, at lunch, we had hamburgers. I flew to Mexico in 2019. Two years ago, I flew to Mexico. I know exactly when the action happened, and that is 2019. We didn't have class last week. This is a negative sentence. Remember that we use for the simple past, the auxiliary didn't, to make negative sentences, and we know exactly that the action happened last week. Christopher Columbus arrived in America in 1492. This is something you learned from high school which is that Christopher Columbus arrived in America in 1492. And we have one question here, which is, when did Jorge Eliezer Gaitán die? This is a sentence in the simple past. This is a question in the simple past. And we use the auxiliary did to make questions in the simple past. When did Jorge Eliezer Gaitan die? Well, we know that he died in 1948. And let's see some examples of ongoing or continuous actions in the past. I was sleeping. The past continuous is continuous because we use verb to be and we use the present participle, which is the verb plus ing. I was sleeping. James and Julia were not watching TV. This is, these are examples of continuous or ongoing actions in the past, but we can also make them negative sentences. James and Julia were not watching TV. What were you doing? It's a question. Remember the structure of questions with WH. What were you doing? 
We were not paying attention. It is a negative sentence again. Remember that for continuous sentences we use verb to be in the past and we use the present participle which is the verb plus ing. The children were not playing in the park. These are examples of sentences that are ongoing. These are examples of actions that are ongoing or so continuous in the past. So now the question is how can we connect activities that have a duration in the past and activities that have a specified time in the past to tell stories? Well, we can use while. You can connect sentences with while when you have two ongoing or continuous actions that happen at the same time. For example, while Peter was having lunch, Sammy was doing his homework. That means that Peter was having lunch at the same time that Sammy was doing his homework. We can also use when to connect two actions, a continuous action and an action in the simple past. We use when when one action happens in the course of another action. For example, we met some nice people when we visited Cartagena. That means that I went to Cartagena, I met or we met some nice people, and then I came back. The patients came when the doctors were eating dinner. That means that the doctors started having dinner, then the patients came, and then the doctors stopped having dinner. One action happens in the course of another action. We can connect two activities, two actions in the simple past and the past continuous using while and when. For example, when a continuous longer action is interrupted by a short action. For example, while Ivan was teaching a class, his cat jumped on the desk. That means that Ivan started teaching a class, then the cat jumped on the desk. One longer action is interrupted by a short action. Or we can do it, we can connect those two sentences using when. Ivan was teaching a class when his cat jumped on the desk. So in this case, you can connect those two sentences. One is a longer action that is interrupted by a short action using while and when. And finally, you can connect two actions using when, when an action happens immediately after another action. Philip stopped singing when the teacher entered the classroom. In this case, one action, which is a longer action, finishes when another action happens. Philip was singing and then he stopped when the teacher entered the classroom. These are four ways that we have to connect continuous actions or past simple actions using when and when. Well, guys, now you know how to use the simple past, how to use the past continuous, and how to connect them to tell stories. Let me finish with one question. Do you remember something embarrassing that happened to you? What were you doing when it happened? Remember to like this video, and bye-bye.